Hi, my name is Lee Alfredson, and I'm gonna do a demonstration on doing some portrait work today. I've got a picture of my friend's granddaughter, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the basics of how to do a portrait drawing. Um, if you can see, I have a tiny little light white background, and what I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and just kinda add in a little bit of the outlining um, so I can see my lines a little bit better on here. Um, so that, And that's pretty much what I tell anyone when they're starting out is to go ahead and outline everything first. So we're going to go ahead and do the outline. I'm going to get their ba the basic outline of her face. She's got that pr pretty pink bow there. Um, I've got a little, her placement of her eyes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there. Okay, a little bit of her nose. She's got a pretty cute little nose there. Okay, and then I've got her lips in here. So I'm just gonna kinda get those outlined in there so I have position of where these elements are. Okay, what I do then is I pretty much, especially in a face like this, um, if your tones are pretty much smooth and you've got some shadowing in there, I'm going to start with one layer of a generic color. So I'm going to go with my mid-range color, which is this sort of peach color. And I'm going to go ahead and, I, you, as you can see, I've got my chalk on the side. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill in that mid-range color all over. Now, if there's a huge dark um, shadow on the side of the face of the portrait that I was doing, I surely wouldn't put this light color down first and then put that shadow in. I would go ahead and, and map that shadow in in a darker brown or whatever the appropriate color was. Um, but since the, the skin tones on this baby are pretty neutral, I'm gonna go ahead and just map in my initial layer. Okay, and I'll even just kind of go um, like so. Okay, just so I have my, my basic layer mapped in there. Now, what we have found, um, street painters, uh, I do a lot of chalking on the ground. Um, we have found that pool noodles work really good for blending. And I'm not outside working because it's Florida and it's still pretty warm here in Florida. So I am on a masonite or yucca board and it has a very good texture to it. Not exactly like the cement, but it's pretty similar. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of blending in that initial layer. Okay, I can use either side of my sponge. Okay, and I can, I can very, um, it's very apparent to me what areas need more chalk. Um, because the ones that have a little more chalk, like in here, are smoothing in really well. And the areas that I didn't have as much chalk, and I'm going to make this a little bit smaller, cut it in half. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more because we don't want the streaks in there. We want a really nice, solid, base layer is what I'm looking for here. Okay, so solid base layer and a little bit in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back with my pool noodle. The nice thing with these two is they have an edge. You know, you've got edges that you can use for this. Okay, and I wanna not lose my placement of my nose so I can get in there later on and do my, my blending and such. And as you can see, I've got placement of my, of the baby's lips as well there. Okay. So a neutral color, I usually take the mid-range color. So this is kind of the lighter. I guess I could have gone a little bit with more of the peachy colored, um, but there are some more peach colors in there. And you can see how that's starting to actually look like something. Okay, and you can see I've got a little bit of the pool noodle falling apart, but the beauty of it is I spend uh, $1 and I get 40 of these um, little circular things. <sighs> okay, so then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some of that more peach color in the areas that I see it. 
Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a little bit of that peach over here. You can see it come around. Okay, and once you have that initial layer in, then you should be able to do any blending with your fingers. Okay, you can see how that blended really well. And I do need to get a little darker in there. We've got some shadows in there um, and she's got some highlights, but I'm gonna go a step at a time here for you guys. So I've got my peach coming in here like so. Um, it kind of comes around on her nose, on the side of her nose here, okay? And you can do it like this. Um, you, I use, when I am on the cement, um, I will use um, surgical gloves or rubber gloves. Um, it took me a long time to get used to doing that because they do make your hands sweat inside, but boy, they sure do save your fingers. So if I was on the cement, I would definitely have surgical gloves on. But you can see I'm kind of mapping in this second color, this sort of pinky color that we see. And I believe this little girl's name is Sylvia, I think. Um, I believe that's what her name is. Okay, so I'm just map mapping in all her little, the little shady parts in here that have that more of that pink um, coming into it. And she's got a lot of pink on the side of her face over here, which I'm obviously gonna have to make a lot darker. Uh, but I can go ahead and map in a good amount of that in here. And up in here, she's got a good amount as well. So the best thing, or my, my biggest tip that I can say to you is to make sure that you use the chalk sparingly. Because if you use too much chalk, especially on the sidewalk, you are going to get real frustrated because you're gonna have a lot of dust um, floating around. So as you can see so far, I have no dust flo floating around and I wanna kind of blend my colors into each other. So I'm going back in there with my little pool noodle kind of thing, okay? So now we're gonna go one step further and I'm going, this is gonna start um, bringing in some other colors here. So I'm gonna bring in another shade, which is this sienna, okay? Cause we're gonna, this is, uh, every color that you add darker is gonna add the depth to the face. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of the sienna color. Let's get some depth in Sylvia's face. Okay, and now we have some coming off and I'm gonna take a little bit of time. Um, you know, I will take a lot of time as a matter of fact to go in and actually um, map in her her cute little lips here as well. So let me put a little line through there like so. And you can see as I add these different tones to the face, um, she starts to kind of come alive, doesn't she? So you can start to see the different um, shading really helps a lot in getting, um, you know, for you to be able to see where the actual areas of the face are and the roundness. One artist told me one time that the best thing you can do is take a good photograph. So have a photograph that has a lot of lights and darks in it, and that's gonna make a huge difference. Um, as far as what your final outcome looks like. And I kind of got some streaks in there and I don't want them in there. So I'm going to bring that back out like so. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to map in her eyes. And her eyes are very sort of grayish blue. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and map those in here. Now, obviously, you cannot put gray over white. So you can see that I'm mapping in the eyes, but I'm not doing the um, white part of the eyes. Um, this is not like painting where you can, like acrylic painting, where you can go ahead and put colors over colors. Um, you can, obviously, when you're doing skin tones, you've already seen how the skin tone works out on there, okay? All right, so I'm gonna map in her nice gray-blue eyes here. 
Okay, and I do want to add, I just wanted to get that in there and let me go ahead and add some, um, some brown for the top. I'm gonna add a little bit in there. And, and she as she doesn't have much of an outline. I'm gonna have to really blend that in. Um, that's one of the things that um, babies don't have. They have such, such very fine features. So I'm trying to make sure that I'm not getting too dark on these. I might have to go back in there and work with that a little bit. But this is probably not going to turn out to be the perfect portrait. Um, what I'm trying to do is just give you some basic steps, um, which will make you, you a little bit more successful. Okay, so I've got, yeah, she's getting to look like she's got some eyeliner there, and we absolutely don't want it to look like that. So I'm going to lighten that up a little bit there. Okay. And we're going to put in, now, if you look at the whites of her eyes, they're not really white. They're really kind of a light, light gray. Um, that is white. It's hard to tell because some of my boxes color. So this one, I'm gonna go ahead and stick in there real quick. And this side over here, yeah, it's it gets it. It could be a little bit lighter, and it's probably the the light reflecting off of it. Okay, but you can see we have very whoops. You can see we have very little. In on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some lighter color there. Okay, blend these in. Okay, and then she's got, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the other tiny gray area here. And of course, and on the other side. And you can see on the other side here, very much that that is not a um that's not a white area i will lighten it up slightly with the white okay and then we can see that she's got some really neat sort of an outline to her eye it's almost a smoky gray outline so i'm going to add a little bit of that and what that's gonna do is it's gonna really make the eye pop out. Okay. And do it on the other side as well. And I gotta get a little blue in there cause she's got, you can I've, I've absolutely tell there's some blue in those eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little, a little dark blue. I'm gonna pull some blue in here. Okay. I use my pinky finger a lot. Okay, so that is kind of blended in really nicely to give her that sort of blue tinge. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put her pupils in. Okay, and those are, to me, they do not look jet gray. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put those in as the, as that um, charcoal gray color. Okay, put those in there and you can see she's starting to look like she's got a personality there. Okay. I use my pinky a lot, like I said, lots and lots and lots. Okay, and then look at the reflections in her eyes. She's got these little white reflections in her eyes. And that is a really cool thing to add because it really makes them pop out and look good. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the face here now, and I'm gonna add some more of the colors that we want to bring in. I'm going to bring in some more of this. Okay. okay. And you can see there's some highlights in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those highlights. I can see a little bit of highlight on her forehead here. And I see a little bit of highlight over here. Okay, so I'm gonna put those in. Now, with the highlight, here's the, here's the, the technique that you wanna do. The harder that you press, the more that highlight is gonna go away. And we want it to show up. 
So don't press very hard. You're not gonna you're not gonna want to press in really really super hard. Well, oh, didn't want to do that. I needed to wipe. I used my the black of my fingers on there. So fix that. That's the neat thing is if you end up doing that, you can easily fix it. Okay, and I've fixed that and gotten that most of the gray out of there. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna go back now. And we are going to work on her adorable little nose here. Get some more colors in there. Work our way down the face. And the thing I will do too is get some of these darker colors um, in there. So as you can see, right around the edge of her face, right where that bow is, she does have some darker shadows in there. So I can go ahead and stick those in there a little bit. Again, my pinky finger is such a great edging for this. Okay, and that's gonna also make this start to pop out as well when you get those nice dark shadows in there. Okay, so I've got that little area popped in there. Okay, and then let's go back. Let's go ahead and go back to working on the rest of the face. All right, so I am going to work on the nose here now. She's got a nice shadow that comes around. Her little tiny nostril in here, which is going to be a little bit darker, but I'm just kind of getting my placement in there. And then she's got her other one over here. Whoops. Put a little bit off there. Okay. So let's get this her little nose part in there, and then we'll that helps. Okay. And we want to bring down a little bit of that. You can see she's got this little lower crease right underneath her eye. And we've got quite a bit of that darker color in here. for some light, 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 light pink. All right, and let's get, they actually should be a little darker, but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of think of it, think of it's a little low too. So I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. Okay, and that's the nice thing is, is I can, I can put that out. I can go ahead and Knock that out a little bit and reconfigure where my where my lips should be. Okay, when you're mapping it in, that's what this is all about. And I did kind of a quick sketch in white, a little outline, but this allows us to to go back in and and add some more little details there. And then I'm going to go back in with the oh, we got a little off, big big time off on her nose here. This should go down, and it should not be that. Okay, so we're gonna fix that up a little bit here. Let's fix. But this is at least giving you an idea of how to to get to when you're doing the different colors of the face and such. Okay, so let's get her a little thing, and then it goes like so. Okay, 
And then let me get her lips in there and I'll pet her. Okay, so she's gonna have, whoops. Just get this nice little, little lip coming down. And then we can get some other shading in there and some other highlights as well. Okay, let me add a little bit more on this face over here. Get her a lighter color marked in there. Okay. bit of the dark brown underneath her nose. So I'll do her little pen in there. Her little nose and then her other side. All right, and then we can also work on this. I'm going to add a little bit more of the dark. So her lip goes down. Just get her a little. And she does have a little shadow on over here. spot there and then you can see how she's got much less of an upper lip than I have in there. So I'm gonna make that blend in here and you can also see that she's got some definite white highlights in there so I'm going to fill this in. I've got her little chin that's kind of off to the side here. Do you see how it kind of and it goes off over here, the way that her face is. Okay. I'm gonna blend that all in. Okay. Not so harsh there. Oops. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these highlights. You can see right at her nose, got a highlight there. Okay, right at the tip of her nose. Okay, you can see a, quite a bit of a highlight underneath her eye here. Okay. Okay, and then we've got on her face right here. So we're gonna do the, she's got a little bit where her nose comes down. So we've got this little I don't know what that's called. I'll have to figure, I'll have to look that up, that little indention we have by our nose. And then we've got a highlight there as well. So let's stick that highlight in. Highlights and shadows are gonna be what's gonna make your, your faces look so wonderful. Okay, you can always already tell how wonderful this is starting to look. And I do, to be honest, have a long way to go on this. This is just to give you some ideas. All right, we've also got a light. Maybe it's not quite white. Um, maybe it would be more of that, uh, the lightest color we have on here. Okay, but to do a highlight underneath her eye here to pop out. And then she, um, and then this side of her face is really a lot um, pinker and we do want to make that we do want to make her chin kind of pop out like it does as well okay and that looks has that really round little 
little lighter color there for her chin. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna add, just to finish this up, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of the colors that you see coming in to give you that roundness in her cheek. Okay, you can see how that adds the roundness in her cheek. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Um, and I'm gonna get a little darker with some of these colors to get that really to pop. Okay. And then I'm gonna add more of the more, I'm gonna get her more rosy on this side because that side of her face is really rosy colored. So I'm gonna add that in there. So this sort of gives you the steps of what it would be like if you were doing a portrait. So you're gonna, like I said, you're gonna wanna go ahead and start off with a neutral color. So the lighter or the mid of the colors. And then what you're gonna do is you're just, just gonna start going darker and darker and darker. Okay, so you know that I started with my very light colored flesh tone. And then I went to my more peach flesh tone and I brought in some of the um, darker peach tones that were in Sylvia's face here, okay? Then what I did is I went in and I um, got my sienna color and we added some more of the sienna and I can see that I could probably do sort of that and create the face to be a little bit more, okay? And then we just wanna bring in those areas to create that light and dark in the baby's face. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a little bit more of a nostril in there for her. Okay, and then she's got a little bit of a, little bit of a uh, shadow here at the end of her mouth. Um, so we can add that in there. She does have the little shadow coming down here from her nose, okay? And it even comes on this side as well, okay? And then you could also, we've got some over here um, where we could add in, don't have much of a shadow up here, but we get we a real dark shadow on this side from the nice little pink bow that she's wearing as well. So I can bring that shadow in and that type of thing, okay? So what you wanna do then is when you go back over, you just wanna look at what you've got and I wanna add a little bit to the color of her, make her lips not so bright pink. I have sort of a rosy colored pink here to, to bring those in. And she's got such a cute little innocent, not even, just a slight smile. Um, her nose is a little bit darker in there. And also she does have some, what of a darker nostril there, okay. But you just go back in and look at your picture. You guys are a little bit more experienced, those of you who are watching this. And you just go back in and you look at your picture and um, add your different shed, your different shading and that type of technique. Okay, and then you can go back in over the top and, you know, if your eye seems to have gotten a little bit uh, faded out, you can just add a little bit more and that's gonna add. And then I always spray these with hairspray. So what I do is I take the hairspray and it, with a very continuous, ooh, there goes my thing there, very continuous motion, I'll go ahead and hairspray them. And you wanna make sure you're about 12 inches or a foot away while you're doing that. Okay, so this just gives you a basic, basic portrait. So um, I hope you had a good time and I hope you learned a couple things. All right, thanks so much. This again is Lee Alfredson and my company is learntostreetpaint.com. Thank you.